Oh, Miss Gypsy, what convenient timing you have. Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. Disclaimer. Everything stated in this video is my opinion and my opinion only. And just like everything else in these cases we discuss here on this channel, everything is alleged. All right, so it's been a minute since I've done anything about Gypsy Rose and there's still a couple of videos I plan on doing just observations of mine and things that I've basically already said I was going to do. That stuff's still happening. But I wanted to go ahead and put a small, short little video out right now <laughs> because the last two weeks or so have been insane. And by this Friday, March the 1st, something even more insane should be happening, should be happening. Now, over the past couple of weeks, well, really for the past like month or so now, people have been turning on Gypsy because she's running her mouth and she's sitting there acting like she's basically completely innocent. She's gone on interviews and said she doesn't identify with being someone who's taken someone's life, which is crap because in order for her to have gotten on parole and having her parole like granted the whole point of the parole board is that they are supposed to believe that you are remorseful that you regret the decisions that you made that got you there in front of them in the first place and now she's out here basically claiming that she's innocent and didn't do nothing it's not on her hands it's all on nick 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 and she's running her mouth about nick bad and for someone who's claiming to want to be an advocate she's not trying to do anything she knows damn well that she played that boy she did there's a lot of more information coming out and it's ridiculously insane the possibilities that are coming out now. I want you guys to click the link in my description box because it is for a channel called Conspiracy. I've been following that channel on and off. For some reason, she pops up on my timeline a lot and then she'll just like kind of disappear even though me and her will interact. It's kind of strange. I've been interacting with this channel here on YouTube since the Kylie Rodney case just like on the platform itself. I've never spoken to her outside of that, but <laughs> she's been covering this Gypsy Rose thing really ex extensively. And there's a lot of really interesting information on there that I didn't know about. And she's got interviews and all kinds of stuff being verified. She's like on it. Okay. So if you guys have not been catching up or need to be caught up on what's going on with Gypsy Rose before March 1st, <laughs> I know we've got a lot of stuff going on in Idaho this week, and there's just a lot of stuff going on in general but you guys might want to go check everything out that she's got going on over there. Now, one thing that's really been interesting me is that there's interviews and I didn't know this. There's interviews of Nick where he's talking shit about Dan and Dan is the older dude that Gypsy Rose met at that like Comic-Con or Star Wars convention or whatever. The first time the chick ran away. All right. There's more to that story. There's way more to that story. Because the way that it's been told to us is that she ran off with this dude, mom found out, went and took her back. That was it. She was chained up to a bed. She had all of her electronics and stuff taken away from her. She was never allowed to talk to him again. Her mom put some sort of weird voodoo spell on her and Dan and blah, 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 blah. Okay. No, she was still talking to him online. They were still talking online even after the fact. And from what I'm understanding, even while she was talking and with Nick, there were still conversations being had between Gypsy and Dan. Now he's in jail. As far as I can tell, as of right now, the, the Dan guy, I'm looking up at his inmate number right now. I have it written down. I'm going to check it. And if it's still accurate, I'll go ahead and just pop it up in here because he's been in jail, like in and out of jail quite a few times, but he's in jail. And that might be like where he needs to be if some of the stuff that's kind of coming out is true. Now, I don't know. I don't know a lot about this case. I haven't dug into the case file. There's no need to. Okay. We, we know the people involved for the most part. Okay. It's not some crazy like mystery. But what I didn't know is that there were not only like a cigarette butt at the scene that wasn't accurate because apparently Gypsy and Nick and Dee Dee, like none of them smoked. But there was also some like tire tracks in the front yard and a lot of people were questioning if it was dan especially since these interviews nick is talking crap about dan like a lot of crap about dan and we have to remember <laughs> that the whole situation that happened between 
that you know with them killing Dee Dee was like a couple years after Dan. So him him sitting there and saying stuff like, well, I'll, you know, I'll apologize to everybody but Dan, and he's just like talking shit about Dan. And I'm like, why is he talking shit about Dan? I don't understand. So I'm interested. It's interesting. Now, what else is crazy? And this is where we're getting caught up to now. Now, there's a shit ton more. Okay, there's a shit ton more. Go to Conspiracy's channel if you want to know the rest of it. But I'm just trying to get to like the point here because this just needs to be short and sweet and get you guys ready for what's going to be happening on March the first. All right. So over the past couple of weeks, week and a half to two weeks, there's been rumors going around that Gypsy Rose is pregnant. Now, see, apparently somebody was at a hospital in Lake Charles, an emergency room. So was Gypsy and her dude. And this woman apparently heard them telling the reception desk that they were newly pregnant. Now, all those rumors started going around pretty quickly because this chick took photos and posted them. Some people think it was paparazzi. This chick apparently is a local. Who really cares either way? We just need to know if it's true or not. And yeah, some people are going to be like, oh, if she's pregnant, it's really not your business. Oh, but it is because I would feel so scared for that child. Gypsy Rose is dangerous. No one can change my mind. Now she's sort of wanting to confirm those things. And I don't know if it's because she's getting canceled and she's trying to use this to keep her name relevant or if she's trying to gain sympathy because of what is about to happen. Now, something that I didn't know is that apparently Nick Go to John's family has a YouTube channel that they have recently put together because Nick wants to talk. And I don't know if this is something that his lawyers are advising him is okay to do. I don't know if at this point he said, screw the lawyers, I'm going to speak my truth and this is what we're going to do. I don't know how all of that is going down. I don't know the stipulations behind all that. All I know is that there's this YouTube channel and I've shared it in my community tab a couple of times since I found out about it. It is ran by Nick's family and people that are trying to help Nick get his story out there and get the truth out there. And it's been verified. It's been linked back to a Facebook group that is ran by his family and it is verified. Now this account is apparently going to go, I don't know if they're going to go live or if there's just something that's going to get posted on March the 1st, but something's happening on March the 1st. And I just find it really convenient that the week leading up to these like so-called revelations that are about to happen, Gypsy Rose is doing this whole, oh, I'm pregnant, but not pregnant because I'm not going to verify anything. I'm just going to let people talk, but then post pictures of Ryan touching my stomach to where it looks like I'm pregnant situation. Because that's what it is. It's a bunch of childish, childish bullshit. But the timing is interesting considering what could be happening come March 1st. I would love to know the truth. I think at this point, we all kind of deserve the truth. Because for years, we were taught to believe one thing. And then the truth came out. And we found out that hold on, Gypsy's not so innocent, man. If anything, she was somebody who very much like my ex, sorry, not sorry about making that comparison, was a victim at some point themselves, but then decided to manipulate someone to do their bidding and make victims along the way. I don't believe that Nick belongs where he is. <laughs> I believe that she used his autism and his mental decline, mental incapabilities in order to get what she wanted because she tried before, had a man that failed her, didn't protect her from Dee Dee, let her go back home. Okay. That was failure. All right. Then she picked up the BB gun thinking it was a real gun. Tried to shoot her mom. Didn't do nothing because it was a little BB gun. So she failed time number two. There's also stuff that we don't know about guys, you know, cause Dee Dee's not here. Now I know that she sucks too. Okay. But there's, there's things here. We're just going off of gypsies side of this. <laughs> We're just going off of what her lawyers told her needed to happen in order for her to look like the little damsel in distress while Nick was being the dark bad guy who was the one responsible for everything. Her lawyers did this. Okay. Like we've seen it. We've seen the way that they have talked to her in all of these interrogation videos and in everything that was ever recorded and released. They told her to basically keep playing the little sad, pathetic victim like her mom made her do. If anything, they just fed into Gypsy's psychosis by allowing this shit.
But I guess that's it for my rant. I'm going to have the link for, again, Conspiracy's channel. Go and just watch. She's got so much freaking great information on there. It is in freaking sane. And I will also have the link for this channel. Be watching because I'm going to be watching and you're going to hear from me as soon as they give us something because <laughs> I'm hella curious. But that is it, you guys. If you like the way that I present this information and give my opinion, please not forget to leave a like on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. Go out and do some good today. See y'all.